Hey everyone, it's Mr. P. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered why the moon changes shape? Well, today, I'm going to show you the magic behind the moon's phases. So let's imagine the moon orbiting around the Earth. Remember, orbit means to travel in a path around something. The sun shines bright, and the moon doesn't make its own light. What we see is sunlight bouncing off the moon. There are eight main shapes or phases the moon shows us. Ready? Let's blast off. First we have the new moon, it's hiding. The side facing Earth is in shadow so we can't see it at all. Next is the waxing crescent, a tiny sliver of light appears. Then comes the first quarter, half the moon is bright. Now, the waxing gibbous, more than half is glowing but not quite full. And here's the full moon, it's super bright and you can see the whole round shape. Let's play a game, can you spot the full moon in these pictures? Pause for kids to guess. Great job. Now the moon starts to shrink. That's called waning. Next is waning gibbous, still mostly bright but losing some light. Then the last quarter half lit, but the other side from before. Last is waning crescent, a skinny curve before it disappears again. So why do we see different shapes? It all depends on how sunlight hits the moon as it moves around Earth. Sometimes we see just a part, sometimes the whole thing. Here's a fun fact. Did you know the moon takes about 29 and a half days to go through all its phases? That's almost a whole month. Thanks for exploring with me. If you had fun, like and subscribe to Mr. P Education Academy for more awesome adventures.